When Walker, Texas Ranger, first came onto TVs in 1993, it became a massive hit with audiences. Capitalizing on the fame and image of its star, Chuck Norris, the TV program featured him as its titular character. This character was a member of the Texas Ranger Division who used his karate to fight the bad guys. The show featured all sorts of wild action scenes, with Norris using the opportunity to showcase his karate moves every week. However, a new reboot has recently made its way onto the CW network, and it looks like it has eschewed karate completely from the formula. Warning, fans hate the Walker Texas Ranger reboot. The show first premiered on April 21, 1993. It lasted for eight successful seasons, finally coming to an end on May 19, 2001. It was followed by a made-for-TV film called Trial by Fire, which ended on a cliffhanger that the show's writers never got to resolve. Sadly, it looks like the new reboot, titled simply Walker, isn't looking to resolve this cliffhanger. Instead, it appears to be going in an entirely different direction than its parent show. The original show was created by Leslie Grief and Paul Haggis and featured a fairly singular vision. Inspired by the image of Chuck Norris in his 80s hit Lone Wolf McQuaid, Grief and Haggis took the basic premise of the film and transferred it to television. Norris was going to play the main character, a member of the Texas Ranger Division who specialized in karate. The show capitalized on Chuck Norris's karate skills and previously established merit as an action star. Unsurprisingly, it became a massive hit, appealing to older Norris fans and even creating new ones. The show featured a very straightforward, moralistic style that appeared to the largely conservative audiences of the time. It exemplified traditional values, and the line between Chuck Norris and the bad guys was always firmly established and reinforced by karate. When the show ended, it represented a change in the cultural climate that saw the general public start to take issue with the general image the show portrayed. Many had already come to view the show comedically, with comedians like Conan O'Brien turning the show into a recurring joke on his late-night TV show. Between the time the original show ended and the new reboot was introduced, however, many people stopped finding the joke particularly funny. There were several issues that today's producers saw when developing the new reboot of the classic Walker, Texas Ranger. For modern audiences, the morality of the original show was simply too cut and dry, with the titular character exercising far too much power over the criminals and the use of karate communicated that violence was the answer to solving these problems. Whether the producers were right or wrong, this is the mindset they went forward with on the new reboot, Walker. However, in preemptively solving these supposed problems, the show's producers have created an entirely new problem, that being the reaction of the established fan base for the program. As one might imagine, the Walker Texas Ranger fans have not taken kindly to the new reboot. Reboots are often not well received, and one that completely throws out the core tenets of its source material is certain to catch the ire of those it should be trying to appeal to. The new series stars Jared Padalecki, who rose to prominence on the CW staple Supernatural. Walker is appearing on the CW network, so this casting makes sense from a business perspective. But it makes slightly less sense from an audience perspective. It's hard to tell if Padalecki is giving a bad performance as the iconic character or if he's just not being allowed to shine due to a lack of inspiration behind the scenes. Fans of the original show became suspicious of the reboot as soon as footage appeared. Immediately, it became apparent the show was somewhat lacking in karate action. As time went on, it was revealed this lack of karate was intentional and came along with some other major revisions of the source material. According to Padalecki, the original series was all about a lawman who abides by his own rules, and he would just do head-spinning kicks on people. He goes on to say that the show can't do that now. Of course, his reasoning makes sense. In a cultural climate that has placed greater focus on incidents of the police overreaching their power, a karate-loving cop who punches first and asks questions later might not be the right fit. You may wonder, then, why reboot the series in the first place? Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. And stick around, we've got more about the new Walker reboot. Jared Padalecki is very open about the changes that the new Walker Texas Ranger reboot has made to its iconic character, as well as the general tone and format of the show. The CW actor has expressed the changes were made as a result of the difference in the cultural climate between today and the time when the original show was popular.
While he may or may not be right, fans of the original series are not taking kindly to this new show that's wildly different. Padalecki says a reboot of Walker, Texas Ranger that was faithful to the source material would be laughably bad. From that perspective, it's not hard to understand why fans might have been rubbed the wrong way. He goes on to say this version of the show is not a show about a martial artist kicking minorities in the face. It's a show about a legit Texan. According to Padalecki, a legit Texan is someone who wants to hear the whole story before they make a decision. Once again, while this perspective certainly makes sense, it does make one wonder why executives chose to go forward with the show. For many, without the signature karate of its parent show, the new Walker reboot doesn't have much of a reason to exist. While there is some minor action, the show is more focused on conventional, dramatic plots. Beyond this tonal shift, there's also a noticeable lack of any returning characters from the original program, although Cordell Walker's signature truck does return. A lot of the prospective audience has chosen to sit tight and see if the show can grow into its own. And there's always the chance the producers could listen to the fans' reactions to the new formula and try to make a show that emulates more what made Walker Texas Ranger such a hit. However, many of those watching have already dropped out, and the future isn't looking too great for Walker. Jared Padalecki has been understanding that fans might not take kindly to the new reboot, but has been firm he has no intention of starring in a reboot of the original show that carries over that show's violence. Perhaps Walker, Texas Ranger is best remembered as a document of its time. When it was popular, shows like Cops also ruled the air. Nowadays, these types of programs might not be welcome. However, instead of changing these ancient relics to try to keep them in line with the present, perhaps we should just leave them untouched in the past. Walker, Texas Ranger fans will always have the original show, and modern TV audiences will have the next big thing to look forward to that appeals to the value of the current day. Although Walker, Texas Ranger ended on a cliffhanger in the television film that served as its second finale, it looks like we're never going to get any more of the Cordell Walker we know and love. Still, there's eight full seasons from the past for us to continue to enjoy. Comment down below to share your favorite moment of the original series, or if you think there's hope for Jared Padalecki in the new reboot. As always, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.